Okay, real quick. Do you remember the rhyme you spit? Um, back when Mac made moves with Puff, I was on the back block making moves with stuff. Don't lose an inch or lose the sense that God gave you. A lot can't save you. The clock raised you. 50 feet in the air. You come back willing the chair. All that stuff be killing my ears. That's just part. That's like eight bars, but like that's how I started off. Yo, like I said at the top of the See, show, you wanted it was sure. spitting. Back when Mac made moves with Puff, I was on the thinking. Thinking, I had so many rhymes and so many stuff. I just was going through my rhymes and rollers. That's just saying, what could I say? What rhyme can I say that got his name in it or reference something remotely close to what's going on here? And then just brainstorming, that rhyme popped into my head. Boom. Damn. Okay. Where was you when you found out that you actually made the band? What you mean for the callback or audition or actually make the group? No, that you actually made the group. I made the band. We was all sitting in Mr. Childs. We got picked in Mr. Childs. I got picked first out of 40,000 people, and I didn't even make the first initial audition. I had to make come back on the second spin around. On the second spin around, I came back, and they waited for me, basically, because everybody was picked from the first time they did the talent search. They went to Baltimore, they went to Miami, they went to, of course, New York, they went to uh, Cali, and they had got everybody they wanted already. They had Lowe's from Baltimore. Remember, he was like a shoe in to be like the leader of whatever was going on. But he walked away from the show because he didn't want to be tied down to a group. So they kind of like did the whole thing and just got me out of the second time they did it. They didn't they get nobody else. Just me and, because Dylan was already there. Uh, uh, Chopper was already there. Fred was already there, and and um, uh, Sarah was already there. So once they did the second talent search, when they go to all the cities, I'm looking for talent. That's the one that I made. So and then when they went to go pick the group, I got picked first out of forty thousand mm. people. Yeah, Yo, you know, I got a I got a question for you. By the time that you got picked, did you ever hear any? of your bandmates spit before? Did you did you have a sense of any of their styles? I'm from Philly. So they locked us in a green room for 48 hours. They told, they told you you couldn't leave, you couldn't go to the bathroom. They wanted to see how bad you wanted. It was motherfuckers in there like, yo, I gotta go home. I gotta check on my kids. I gotta get something to eat. I gotta get some smoke. They was like, yeah, when you do, don't come back. <laughs> so I you. <laughs> So I use my time wisely. I'm from Philly. I'm a street nigga. I'm from the projects and I love hip hop. So my thing was just to start a cypher in the green room. So that's why I kind of kind of sustain my dominance, um, my lyrical ability by having a big, gigantic freestyle in the green room where they was held in us for 48 hours. So everybody after the after the cypher was over, I had the whole room saying, yo, if you don't make it, Ness, then this shit is rigged because you had it. Everywhere from Dylon to Sarah to Chopper to Fred, the whole everybody was saying it, and that was my that was my uh, strategy to become popular within the, the contestants. Once we get in line, we have all the contestants saying, "Yo, the guy Ness from Philly, he's tough." That was my strategy because I felt like I was always playing from behind because I wasn't one of the original guys that got picked when they first did the talent search. So my whole shit was strategy. Rapping, all that shit, like going straight up to the fucking window. I'm going door, not waiting in line, not being compliant. All that was my strategy. Okay, so I got it. When when, when you did get matched, because all of y'all styles are different. You and Babs Bunny might have the closest, you know, in terms of your styles, but Dylon very different. Freddie P very different. No, for Chopper sure. very different, and obviously. Um, Sarah, she's an R and B. Like, could you respect what they was bringing to the table? Cause they didn't spit like like they wasn't necessarily those lyricists. Or did you respect? I know they don't spit like me um, or come from where I come from, but they just as dope yeah. in their own right. So it's it's funny. Okay, so this how I break this down. Coming from the East Coast, you know we we pride ourselves on lyricism and it's just being authentic. So, of course, I'm from the street. Of course, I'm, you know what I mean? I'm portraying to be a tough guy. I'm in yep, my mid-20s. Yep. So I kind of understand that aspect of the game. But during this whole time that we're auditioning, the South is really kind of 
putting a chokehold on the game. So they're they're kind of as as the competition is going on, they're giving Chopper and Fred and guys like that more airtime to spit. And I'm noticing that. And I'm like, an East Coast label would be more geared to how I spit, or you know what I'm saying, how me and Babs get down. But I can see what they was trying to do. They was trying to be, they was trying to make us into the new Fugees with, with, with a touch of Lil John and Trick Daddy and that whole Louisiana flavor and had Dylon for the food, the, the kind of Caribbean feel and have Sarah in there for the Lauren Hill effect. That's what we were supposed, that's his idea of what we were supposed to be. But the answer to your question they was catering to more the South because the South was selling a lot of records back then. Yeah, yeah. So that's why we have Chopper and we have Fred. But to answer your question, I I, I like they raps. Did they have enough? No, they didn't have enough raps for me. But like I was in my mid twenties, they was all still kind of like in the early twenties, and Chopper was a teenager. So I I, I didn't. I kind of judged them by not having so many raps, but what they had, I did like. And at the time. You know, we, we 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 went on to you know what I mean uh, have writing sessions where I, you know they would open up their writing, but I wasn't impressed my first listen. But after a while of being around them, I understood why they was there. Yeah, I asked you that because, like you, I'm from the East Coast, right? I mean, we we were bored up. You had to be serious with your wordplay. Serious. You you had to be serious. Like the bars you spit, they like you can't waste the ball. All those bars got to be flames. So even though those guys were dope in their own right, it's still this is not how you was raised. You come from the streets. You come from ciphers, and you come from battling. They didn't spit like right. that. So I was just wondering because now all y'all are stuck in a group together. You know, it's only human. Okay, it's well, only natural see, well, that you might look could, to the right and the, to the left that's where and the be quote, like, yo. Quote. It's a compromise thing. That's where I understood, start understanding the business a little more. Because like I said, economically, you know, the culture was shifting. And a lot, and a lot of South, Southern rappers was getting a lot of looks, a lot of recognition. So to balance the group out, okay, we had the two East Coast rappers. Now we got the two, you know what I mean? down south rappers and now we got a singer and we got a reggae artist um if it was me i would have replaced one of the south artists with a, with a west coast artist rest in peace damone he just he just passed early this year um but oh, yeah. I, to, to balance it out a little bit further i would have picked one down south artist and, and chose a, um a, either male or female west coast mc i think it was too many presence of South and it kind of overpowered the other parts of the group. And it just, it just, you know what I mean? I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what, what Puff, where his air was at for within. And, I, and I'm not questioning where he was here. I'm just saying we didn't gel because it was always a thing, the North against the South. So we would get mm -hmm. into a lot of issues because all oh, you porch monkey niggas, oh, you, uppity niggas and it just was like it just was bad energy sometimes and it, and not for nothing you know we was all kids so we we just was being ourselves but to balance it out i think it was just always like the north versus south civil type of war then we had a wild card with die line then we had another wild card with sarah so it was just like unorganized confusion to me what's up guys thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video truly appreciate you if you like anything you heard here today go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.